day, Tinker Cat friends. I want to do another project that helps us practice duplicating and moving things around where it saves the measurements. Start by naming your file fence and then bring out a cube. And I want you to take that cube and I want you to make it five millimeters across. So click the white corner and put a five and press enter and make it two millimeters thick. And then we'll keep the 20 millimeters high. Grab your nifty little cube, and I'm going to zoom in so I can see this better. And I want you to put it right on one of the grid corners. Notice it's snapping to a grid of size 1, so that makes it nice and easy. Now I want to put a roof on top. So I'm going to click the work plane, which you can also do by pressing W. And then when you click on top, the work plane is built there so that our roof shows up right on top. We need to zoom back out so we can see it at the right size. So I'm using Fit View to Selection, which is super cool. And we know that it is 2 millimeters thick this way. And we know that it is 5 millimeters thick this way. And then I also want to make it 5 millimeters tall. That way it's nice and it fits the exact design. I want to grab both pieces and I want to use the Align tool because it's so amazing. Align it centered on the side, align it centered on the middle, and then we need to grab both of those and we need to group them. I'm going to shut off my work plane by hitting work plane and clicking the blue piece, and then I'm going to realign it with the edge of my grid just because that makes this next part super cool. I'm waiting for them to turn red. It takes a second for the computer to catch up. And then when it does, I want to make my fence white. Now here's where it gets magical. I want you to switch your grid to 5 millimeters because I want each piece of fence to be 5 millimeters across. I'm going to click on my fence, and I could do Control D, but I'm going to show you this button as well. And once I duplicate, I'm going to use the arrow keys. I'm going to click once to go 5 millimeters and once to go 10, so now there's a perfect gap. Now what's magical is those are saved, so the next time I tap duplicate, if I don't touch anything else, it moves my fence all the way across with the exact same measurements. Let's add a rail to our fence by bringing it down, click the white box and change it to 2 for this measurement. Let's make it 5 for this measurement. And then let's bring it into place, and since we're still set at 5 millimeter marks, we can just grab the little black handle and snap it right to the exact size. I want to raise it up in one millimeter mark cell, so I'm switching to the one millimeter grid, and I'm hovering over the cone till it's selected and raising it to the height I want, making it the color white. You can pick any other color you want. I just want a white picket fence, and then grabbing our entire new shape and grouping it. You have now got a beautiful custom fence that you can duplicate and arrange all over for the next piece of this project. Speaking of the next piece of the project, I need you to click Basic Shapes and choose All. We want to find the awesome bent tube. When you find the bent tube, we want to first hit the work plane and connect it to the fence. With that work plane in place, bring the tube out. And what's beautiful about this is it stands our tube up. Click where the bend angle is 90 and make it 180. Take the outer pipe width and make it 5. Change both the lead-ins to 10. And you have started to make an awesome set of legs for a spider. I'm going to change my pipe shape to be hexagons because I think they look cooler as spider legs. And then watch this. W shuts off the work plane. I'm going to move my spider behind the fence. I'm going to click on my spider leg and I'm going to do that same control D. I'm going to look above my spider leg and I'm making sure I'm not touching anything else. Find the little rotation button. I'm going to zoom out a little bit so I can see that again. So there's the rotation. When you hover over it, it lets you grab it. And then when you grab it, you can move out to the little lines. So now it's moving uh, small amounts. 
or you can snap to the inside lines. Now since I'm making a spider, I know I want to go to the 45, so then I let go. Once it settles in, I can hit duplicate again, and it moves for all eight legs almost instantly for my spider using duplicate. I need a body for my spider. Uh, you can use crazy things like these, but I'm going to go back to the basic shapes, and I'm going to just bring out my favorite, the sphere. When I bring out the sphere, I'm going to just set it down for a moment. I'm going to take my legs and I'm going to group them so they're one piece. Now that I've got them placed, I can shrink them and adjust them so that they do exactly what I want. I want my spider legs like that. I'm going to pick a color for my legs. I'm going to make my spider have red legs. I'm going to make his body be black. I'm going to hold down shift and stretch his body so it grows at the same time. But then I'm going to squish him from this direction. Bring them into place, select them all, click a line, snap, snap, so that they're aligned right and left. I'm going to click out in space and then click the body and raise that body up. All of a sudden, I've got a pretty cool little spider dude. I'm going to bring out his little eyeballs, and I'm going to make eyes with the sphere. Once again, so it shrinks every direction at once, I'm going to hold the shift key, make that sphere a little bit small, move it close to where I'm going to want it, and then lift it up so it attaches to my buddy. Zoom in a little bit with the fit view, and then with the arrows, I can move it where I want. So I'm just doing left and right till I'm happy. I'm going to zoom back out. And I'm going to do control D and I'm going to use the arrows to move an eye to the other side as well. Now you could add all kinds of fun things like a smile, a heart, anything you want to your cool little uh, spider. When you're done, group him and then just don't forget this will turn it all one color. But you can simply hit the colors and the multicolor to make them awesome. Tons of room to fiddle around. You can see that my eyes are not perfect. But the main point was that we quickly duplicated, manipulated, and had fun making an awesome spider. How incredible can you make yours? What other friends can you add for your spider to hang out with? Hope you had fun watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you make something incredible. Uh, share it with us in the comments. Uh, you can also share it using the share button. You can also uh, put a picture on Twitter and share it in HL Mod Tech so we can all see it. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.